Hey everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today. Today it's a smoky, kind of uh, forest fiery kind of a day. It actually you can smell it in the air. There's forest fires all around us here. Uh, but anyhow, today we are gonna be taking a look at a double feature. We have these two brand new T880 day cabs. So let's check them out. So here we have two brand new T880 day cab tractors. Uh, big thank you to Darren Goche of Goche Soils here for purchasing these two trucks for me. They set up just beautifully. Uh, so we'll just start here. I'll look at this one here, uh, kind of go over it. Now we did get a shot of rain, so that's why there's a little bit of dust here. I'm shooting this uh, video here. It's Monday morning and uh, it rained here last night, so had them all cleaned up for Friday, but not much you can do about the rain. So these are a 201 inch wheelbase as far as the, uh, the wheelbase is concerned. Uh, T880s with the setback front axle. Uh, starting up front here on the grill, we got the uh, stainless steel tapered bumper with the center mount tow pin. And then we have the standard aluminum metal mesh grill with the stainless steel shroud that goes around. That is not plastic, so that will not uh, peel. It is not uh, just general steel. It will not rust or oxidize. It's stainless, so heavy duty. Built strong to last long. Uh, we got the uh, clips on the front there for the winter front, and then the, the bug screen is mounted in behind the grill. You can see it right there. The, the nice thing about our T880 cab is uh, the hood. It has a five-piece design hood. I've talked about this many times. The uh, fenders are bolted onto the center part and the center part is bonded together. So if you do damage the sides of the fenders, you can easily replace them. So uh, that is a nice function there. Uh, now with the uh, air intakes here, we have the additional fans in there. You can kind of see them there. Uh, that is to help drop the dust out of the air intake before it hits the main cab filter or main uh, engine filter. And then you can also trim this around from the factory with a stainless uh, piece around the air intake. So for not too much money, it's a nice option there. Uh, the front axle is rated at 13.2 with drum brakes. We put drum brakes all the way around on this truck. This is a Super B hauling truck. We'll be hauling side dump uh, uh, gravel trailers, I believe, Super Bs. And then uh, 11R245 rubber all the way around with Durabrite rims. So th these are work trucks, they're going all the time. And uh, so no time to polish, easy soap and water, and away you go. Uh, batteries are located right in here. And then we have the engine heater, oil pan heater as well. And uh, we ordered it with the dual side of cab exhaust just to kind of give it that uh, awesome look. We have the seven inch straps on uh, the standard finish for the fuel tank and the straps as well. Uh, this one here is 100 gallons. And then we put, uh, we'll talk about that other side here in a second. Uh, this here has the, uh, the pre-2021 uh, new style def tank. So it has that kind of notch out of the back. So uh, it also has the straps on the outside, whereas the new style, it's all kind of enclosed. 
Uh, now on the back of the cab here, you can notice here we have two trailer cords. So one of these, this yellow cord here is actually to operate uh, trailer accessory power options. So if a guy wants to uh, run, you know, uh, specific functions on the trailer, uh, you have the power to do that from inside the cab. And then your standard rubber airlines for the rest, for the, for the air trailer. Uh, we have the LED lights on the back of the cab as well for your, your work lights. Uh, we put the stainless steel half fenders on here along with the wet kit from the guys over at Fort Gary Industries. Uh, they did that for, for Darren. 24.5 uh, Bridgestones on the back, L320. So these are the big lugs. Uh, I think these are probably one of the biggest lug tires that, uh, that I can put on a truck here from the factory. Uh, and then a, a Gerbright rims as well on the back. Now the rear ends are the Dana Spicer D46 172. So those are the uh, uh, 46K rating with the full locking differentials. Gear ratio is a 391 gear ratio. And then, uh, like I said before, we have the drum brakes on the back here. Now on this truck here, we have uh, a hydraulic tank, uh, 75 gallon. That is right from the factory. So you get the nice same uh, size along with the same straps and, and so forth and then we have the smaller tank on top here 60 gallon uh, fuel tank right here and then this is your emissions uh, to a box underneath here single uh, exhaust is connected so with the with our cabs here basically uh, it's a single stack uh, the other is a dummy All right, so here we have the 510 Packard 1850 torque. This is the biggest, uh, highest torque, highest horsepower rating, 13 liter engine on the market in North America. So this is the biggest engine uh, the Packard engine offers for us. So we have your power steering right up here with the exposed filter, which is easy to change now uh, with our new redesign. We have your Packard fuel water separator, which is heated. Uh, there's your air chuck right there to fill up air on the truck. And then uh, your uh, engine oil, your washer fluid, your engine oil fill, and then your, this is your fuel prime pump right there. Uh, nice thing about this cab, all the airlines, uh, with the exception of a few, but all the airlines going to the dash are basically terminated right here at the firewall, and then electronic signals go inside the cab, uh, with the exception of your parking and trailer brake, and then your airlines going to your transmission and your air seats so looking on this side here uh, you got your hot side the turbo you got your oil filter and your centrifugal spinner right here uh, now this little yellow guy right here uh, this is a tap to shut off the uh, coolant through the HVAC system in the summertime if you just want to disable that so that you don't have any uh, coolant lines going into the cab uh, heating up your core so you, you don't need that so you can shut that off so that's uh, basically what that is right there uh, let's close up the hood and show you inside all right so this is the uh, the last of this design for the interior where these panels are light gray uh, going forward, these are all going to be black on the uh, or a dark brown, depending on the interior color. So these are the Dura Supreme seats. So a beautiful cloth, heavy duty material that we have in here. And these are the GT702 uh, seat and then the matching toolbox for the passenger side right there. So inside the cab, we have uh, the light here for the back of uh, cab work lights, uh, your interior lights. Uh, uh, sorry, that's your adjustment for the brightness on the dash. And then there's your interior lights, your exterior light test, your signal stat. Now this whole collar goes in for washer fluid, not this button here. This little button is just your marker light interrupter switch. <coughs> Here's the dash with the, uh, the gauge cluster. Uh, so your standard gauge cluster, and then we ordered an additional eight gauges. Uh, so an, a nice thing that we can offer from the factory is uh, uh, optional 
air gauges that are just plumbed to the back of the cab and these can actually be tapped into the trailer air suspension gauges that are on the trailer and if you have a quick coupler connector and route the airlines to the truck you can actually have them show on the factory gauge so that's a nice option that i like to to uh, put on some trucks uh, when we spec them out uh, as far as the radio we have the uh, bluetooth am fm uh, with a usb plug and uh, there is your trailer spike your jake brake is right here engine oil uh, engine fan cruise uh, is right there your air suspension dump for the trailer uh, air traction control for the truck a utility light for the trailer and these are wired up to that uh, switch that is or that uh, yellow cord on the back there uh, we have air suspension inflate so this actually pumps the air up and then this is the air suspension dump your power divider your front and rear diff lock you can order this on one or two switches uh, so this one here we put it on one just because we were kind of uh, limited for space on the uh, wiring side of things uh, factory pto switch uh, there is the uh, fifth wheel slider and then a dump for the trailer and that is wired up to that additional uh, gauge or that additional uh, cord as well can't think of the words here this morning uh, we got your auto climate control right there and then this here was done by fort gary this is just your hoist up and down your your flow control for the uh for the wet kit uh, now up there is just your standard exterior light and your clearance lights for the truck and for the trailer so that's what we got going on uh, up above here we have a fully lined interior so this is a nice cloth headliner and then it's uh, got these plastic accents that are a nice design on them as well nice little weave design uh, cb radio up above and then all the lights inside are led now you can order this rear window in either a glass or a plexiglass so in a standard tint or a dark tint or a sliding window. So there's like six options there that you can get. Now down below here is the storage pocket. And then uh, last but not least, the manual 13 speed transmission is what we have here. So that is a little bit about the interior. All right, so that's it for this week's video. Uh, if this video was a little bit uh, weird with the audio, uh, it's because I had to re-record the, the whole video that is on this camera. My other two cameras were fine, but this camera gave me a glitch. And so I just re-recorded and dubbed over the audio. So it uh, might be a little off. But anyhow, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thank you very much for uh, coming by to watch the, the video. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel, I'd sure love it if you would do that. Uh, you can go to uh, my website up here as well, thekenworthguy.com. Uh, all my contact information, social media links, and uh, all of my, uh, if you want to spec a truck, that's all listed up there as well for you. So again, a big thank you to Darren at Goche Soils for the purchase of these two trucks. I look forward to uh, doing business down the road again too. And uh, yeah, that's it for this week's video. So thanks for watching. And as always, have yourself the world's best day.